You can only stream ones from a distance. Direct to Facebook. It's on Rapture Media. Tears 
Oh, hell, be Oh, hell, be Mazi, nobody, no, nobody can talk unless I unmute the person. Or okay. The person. Okay. Yeah. Welcome, everyone. I can see a number of uh, people here. I think you are around uh, 76 people already. Um, as we all know, today is our Heroes and Heroes Day, and I welcome every one of you here. I say, Mechiko Kadama, bless every one of you. As today is the remarkable day of our heroes and heroes. I commend those of you who are already here now. I say, Mechiko Kadama, bless all of you. Um, I want to dress the house the way things are going to be run. As the music is playing, we are going to welcome the floor by opening prayer. The speech of national coordinator, which I'm already on. The floor speech remark by anyone. The songs of the national anthem <coughs> Noon prompts the observation of minute silence in the hour of fallen heroes facing the east. Listen attentively, please. If you are participating, those who are going to read, I would like to mention your name so that you will know your position. Section names of those that will read the prayers. Number one, we have Mazi Ifre Pokechuku Who are going to read? I would like to measure your name so that you will know your position. No, our PR will stop equating it. Do something about it, please. I repeat. Number one reading, Mazi Ephraim Okechibu Ogu. Second reading, Reverend Father Anthony Onyeka Chibu Okafo. That is number two reading. Number three, Christian Wosu. Number four, Mwada Ifoma Onwara. Number five, Desmond Aloysia. Number six, Maslinus Oke Mwodo. Reverend Father. Number seven, Mwada Clara Onyinyechi. And my very self, Mazi Obichuku Kamado Obro. That's the number eight. So take note of your following reading, please. Now, uh, we are, I don't know our PR Torino coordinator, if our veterans, any of our veterans here, please indicate yourself to tell us a word of encouragement and um, the please. reason why we are here today. Uh, please, anybody that uh, you know want to speak should let me know. As soon as I say, you should unmute yourself. You just unmute yourself. I don't know if Reverend Mufo is here with us. I've not seen him. I don't think he's here. I don't think he's here. So my fellow Bia France, as we all know, today is uh, our Falling Heroes Day. And um, 
we have come to respect them. We have to, we have come to show them the love we have on them because they are the one that makes us to be here today to talk about Biafra. They have sacrificed their lives to make sure that the Biafra is restored. And today we are on the race. We never give up because they start good road for us and we are going to accomplish it on our time. That is the only way we can appreciate their debt. Without Biafra, we are nothing. Without Biafra, we are a we are we in fact we don't supposed to exist as a as a people. But this generation of Biafra have determined to restore Biafra. If anybody, anyone block our way, is going to go down in order to Biafra to be restored. So whoever thinking that he can sabotage what we are doing, I can assure you, you will fail. Not just you will fail, along the process you will die. So Biafra have come to stay. There's nothing anybody can do about it. We appreciate our Mazin Amdekan, our stream leader, who have made it possible today for us to be here. We appreciate him. We commend him. And we say, Mechko Kyabam a blessing wherever he is. Any eye, any mind, any grudges towards him will perish. That is our quest. And there's nothing will stop that. The only way you will be free and see Biafra is when you embrace what he's doing because he has done a marvelously well. And we are here commending him and tell God to protect him wherever he is. On no distant time, Biafra will be restored. And I might believe, I don't know about you, my belief. This is the last 30th of May we will celebrate abroad. We are going home soonest. We are going home soonest. For those of saboteurs, your name is sorry. And your destination is death. So whoever you doing to stop us, please desist from it or else you will give your life for us to live. Fellow dear friends, as I said before, if you know that you are a, a, a veteran here, it doesn't matter whether you are a man or woman, please indicate yourself and uh, tell us the word of advice on this process we are in now. Thank you very much. And I stand by. Thank you, National. God bless you. Thank you too. Father Miscellanus, you are welcome, sir.
Does it mean that uh, we don't have veterans here? Emeko Kaka, I saw name Emeko Kaka and I saw him as a veteran. I don't know if you are one of our veterans. Emeka Okaka. Or mute him, let us hear from him, please. Emeka Okaka, please unmute yourself. Sorry. I am not one of the veterans, please. Okay. Okay. Reverend Mufo. National, let me call him to see if he came in. Okay. National is not picking, but I guess it should be in ser on service now. You know that today is Sunday, so okay. I believe it's in the church. All right. Somebody raise his hand. Chukwode Odumanya Odumanya Chukwode Odumanya Unmute him, please. Your mood, your mood. Oh, hey, Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra. Are you one morning, of my, are you one my of the, brother? Huh? Are you one of the veterans? No, but I just want to give an, uh, a word of okay, go encouragement. Ahead. Go ahead, please. Okay. My name is Chukode Ndumaya from Piemonte. Thank you very much to give me for this opportunity to meet my brothers and my sisters over here. I thank you Cook Kabiyama for these days and mostly our director, Mazi Namdi Okukaro, to stand with his feet that his brothers and sisters will be in freedom. We have their freedom. And in this order we are into, I encourage every one of us to stand with our feet because we are always there. The God is with us. And whoever God is with will never fail. Yeah. I encourage every one of us here to stand. Never go back. Biafra or death. We must achieve 
our aim and we must reach our destination for our land, a blessed land. We miss it, we all die. And I pray to Chuko Kabiamu that it can never allow us to miss it. We must reach our destination and got our land back from the Janja Way. Because I believe that together we achieve what we want. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, National Padova PR yeah, 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 I'll mute him to two minutes because we are approaching the hour. Okay, Padova, go ahead and unmute yourself. Oh, hey, Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra. Uh, I want to thank our great leader, for bringing us and enlightening us on what we have never known for many years. Fellow brothers and sisters, just as one of us have said it before, I hope this will be the, our last remembrance on our way. The next one will be in our fatherland. Yes, sir. I really strongly believe that in no less than two days time now, Italy will be celebrating their own on second of next month. It will not be known. Biafra, as a nation, we join Italy to celebrate our own. I also thank our gallant members, the members of Eastern Security Network, who have been making us proud. I also thank you, my leader here in Padova, and other principal officers who have been working tirelessly to see that here in Padova, we are moving forward. Not only moving forward, but to make sure that we must arrive at the point proposed. That point proposed is the coming of Biafra. That is our religion, and that is our own, and that is our hope. I want us to remember philosophy is for the Greeks, but wisdom is for the Israelites. We are those people that we are born with that wisdom. My leader, I say, oh, hey, Biafra. Oh, I say, oh, hey, Biafra, long life, Federal Republic of Biafra, long life, our great leader, Marzi Nand Ukukalo. Thank you for giving me this audience. God bless you. Thank you very much. Uh, Marzi. Chuhuma Ekezie. Mazi Chukuma Ekezie. Oh, heavy Afra. Okay. Oh, heavy Afra. Um, as we all know, my fellow comrade, today is a D day. The day we respect our honored and honored our fallen heroes those who led their life for us to live and talk of Biafra today. 
I want to encourage every one of us to stand firm because our people said in our dialect, you can see it that everywhere is going short in the Afra land. They are making all possible means to intimidate us, to make us to be afraid, to make us to bow down on what we are doing. But they don't know the generation that have made. This generation is a generation of never say die. The, the, the generation that have ambition to pursue what they want to the end. That is why our slogan is Biafra or dead. And I believe this time around, there's no Jupiter, no Jupiter that will make us to derail on what we are pursuing. I always cherish my leader, Martin and the Colonel, the man who introduced radio, media to educate millions of Biafra all over the world, to sanitize, to tell them the importance of freedom, what freedom is all about. Our people don't know what we have on that man. This is a genus that never come anytime, once in a century. And I believe that we get around and put hands together and make sure that that dream that is pursuing come true so that we will go to that land filled with honey, milk, and all the things that God used have used to bless that land so that we will inherit what the God have put in that land. I pray that everybody who is in this struggle will wake up and put more effort, more than what we have put before, so that we will get what we want. Okay. And we will go to that land and praise the almighty Chukwu Kikabiyama. And I pray that, as our uh, national said, this may be the land of uh, the last heroes day we will do in this foreign land. So at the end, we will see something to bless the almighty Chukwu Kikabiyama. He said, he said, he said. He said. Uh, as, uh, as we all know, we are approaching 12 noon. I can see a lot of hand raised here. Uh, we are not going to entertain it, please. Uh, we give um, Reverend Father Maslinus to uh, three minutes to do that. Uh, I should I say two minutes, two minutes, please. Father Maslinus, Okemodo. Father Maslinus, please uh, unmute yourself. Yeah, thank you, National Coordinator, all the coordinators here. Thank you, my brothers and sisters, for this opportunity and for being here. And we are here to pray. And in this prayer, we remember our past heroes. We remember the past so that we can live the present in a better way. And I, I cannot say anything without thanking God for our leader, Nam Dekanu, and for everybody cooperating with him and collaborating in a, a, a closer way, and for all of us. We are here, and we, we are here because we believe in justice, we believe in truth, and these gifts come from it's God. Because you don't let a little bit charge us. So we are here with God, and once we, we're already there, and we shouldn't be discouraged we are there and we must keep hoping. One thing I have to say, and I'm very sure of this, and that's why I follow this movement, and that's why I listen to Nam Dekani. He's a special gift from God to all of us. And if you wake up and sleep without praying and thanking God for him, then you may not have been a good dear friend because people like him come only once in ages. I don't mind what people say about him. They are not meant to know him because he comes from God. He's a gift from God. And you know, once your spirit is against God, you're against everything he does. So with this spirit of God, we keep moving. 
till we achieve our aim. Love costs sacrifice, but we are ready to sacrifice because we want to love, we want to have justice, and we want to say the truth. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the um, speech. Um, we have only a minute to go. Our, our PR will, the host, get ready for our national anthem. And after the two minutes silence, please, we, you switch on our national anthem. Yaru, are you there? Yes, Mazi, I'm here, sir. Okay. He loading some seconds to enter 12 noon, which we are going to make our two minutes silence. A minute silence, please. Two minutes silence, please. Two minutes silence, please. As we are memori memorizing in our mind, tell God what you need. May the souls of faithful departed rest in perfect peace. It's, uh, our national anthem, please. Okay, national. Allow Chidema in, please. Our national anthem. Thank you very much. As the national anthem is done, we are going to proceed of our reading. Uh, we are calling on uh, number one reading, please, to come up and uh, 
Please, we know our response. As the reading is going on, make sure your candle is by your side. Very important. Please, number one reader, unmute yourself. Mazi Ephraim Ogun. Okay, Biafra. Okay, Biafra. Biafra, we heard you. I am Mazi Ephraim Okechuku. And I'm the first reader for our prayers. Hello, dear friends. We are gathered here today, Ubo C.A.K., 30 May 2021, to pay befitting Biafra Memorial Service and journey of remembrance to not only honor our heroes, but to ask the almighty creator, Chuko Kabiyama, to grant their spirit eternal rest in his kingdom. It is our custom through the ages for Biafrans to pay their respect to fellow departed Biafrans. Our thoughts and prayers are with all families whose loved ones, fathers, mothers, brothers, sisters, uncles, aunts, husbands, wives, children, unborn children, nursing mothers, and many more we are killed during the war. Being killed, maimed, beheaded, massacred on daily basis by Islamic jihadists in Nigeria, and also all Biafrans who have died fighting for what they believe in. And at this moment, we invite every family and friends to remain coordinated for the memorial service and journey of remembrance. We remember our people who suffered and died so that we could be free and secure. May their memory be more than a distant shadow. We remember Major General Johnson Thomas Umunakwe Agoyi Ironsi. Colonel T.C. Omwatuegu. Lieutenant Colonel Nicholas Ejikwe, Major Chukuma Kaduna Nze Ogu, Captain D.N.E. Ugoala, Major C.J. Anuforo, Major D.O. Okafo, Second Lieutenant A.D. Mbadiwe, Lieutenant A.D.C. Eguna, Captain A.L. Orok, Captain A.O. Akwet, Major B. E. Namani, Major Christopher Emeli Fongu, and our ESN commander, Ikonso. Using a lighted candle, raise it up facing the east, we say, for their dream left unfulfilled and their life taken too short away from us. And humanity we remember, and may their courage be our inspiration and strength. He said, Second reading, Reverend Father Anthony Onyeka Chibu Okafo. Please, Reverend Father, unmute yourself. The souls of the righteous are in the hand of Chuko Kikabiana, and there shall be no more torment touching them. In the sight of the unwise, they seem to die, and their departure is taken from misery. They are going from us to the utter destruction, but they are in peace. For though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope full of immortality. And having been a little chastened, they shall be greatly rewarded. For Chukwa Kikabiam approved them and found them worthy for himself. We remember our brothers and sisters, our fathers and mothers, and the children whose sacrifice kept the dream of Biafra based on truth, 
love and justice alive. We remember Captain Chukweke, Lieutenant ECN Achebe, Second Lieutenant E. Obonaya, Lieutenant Colonel G. O. Okonweze, Lieutenant G. O. Mbabie, Captain H. A. Ilokutif, Major I. E. Ekanen, Lieutenant Colonel I. C. Okoro, Captain I. U. Idika, Major J. I. Obien, Major J. O. C. Ihedibo, and using a lighted candle, raising, raising it up facing the east, we say, May their courage be our inspiration and strength. He said, Second, uh, third reading, Mazi Christian Wosu. Mazi Christian Wosu, please unmute yourself. Oh, hey, Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra. Fellow Biafrans, we are called upon by the most solemn admonition to uncertainty of human life and inevitable termination of all earthly pursuits. For we gather to pay a last farewell to our heroes, the brave men and women who die that we may live. These last offices and honor paid to our dead, dead provide us an opportunity to express our sense of loss and to offer a tribute to their memory, while they enable us likewise to bear witness to our belief in the immortality of the soul. For life cut short and vision unrealized, we remember. Lieutenant J. D. Ovoezirie, Lieutenant J. U. Oba, Captain Jonathan Egere, Lieutenant K. D. K. D. Waribo, Captain L. Dilibe, Major Ubi, Major O. Isong, Captain P. C. Okoye, Second Lieutenant P. K. Oyenaho, Second Lieutenant P. D. Ekedio, Lieutenant S. E. Onkwe, Captain S. E. Madabum, Major T. E. Nzegu, Lieutenant P. O. Ibik, Captain R. Abazue, using a lighted candle, raise it up facing the east, we say, may their courage be our inspiration and strength. He say, he say, Sir. Maze, fourth reading, Mwada, informal honor. Unmute yourself, please. Why well, don't you for my mute yourself? Okay. In particular, they remind us that our lives are to be lived in accordance with divine providence and ready to lay it down for the cause of Biafra and salvation of humanity. That we are diligently to walk while it is yet day, so that when the call comes to lay down our tools, we may be found ready to enter the kingdom of Chukoki Kabiyama, where in his light, we shall see light. We remember the falling of our bear front armed services. We remember the victim of terror and tragedy. We remember the millions of defenseless women, men and children, bombed in the market, stripped to their dead in school and hospitals by Soviet mix and piloted by Egyptians. 
we remember W. O. Juan Elijah Anosike. We remember Sergeant Ewan Ejogo. We remember W. O. Two Ndareke Oya. We remember Sergeant Davison Joko. We remember Sergeant Silvanus Iziku. We remember Sergeant Evan Jim Udo. We remember Corporal Pius DK. We remember Corporal Michael Aku DK. We remember Corporal Johnson Agu. We remember Corporal Gabriel Ukezie. And we remember Sergeant Mbanefo Lawrence Ufurum. Using a lighted candle, raise it up facing the east. We say, may their courage be our inspiration and strength. He say, He say, so, the fifth reading, Mazi Desmond Alozia. Unmute yourself. Mazi Desmond, unmute yourself. Not clear. Oh, hey, Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra. Why is it not clear? <laughs> While we sorrow for our loss, let us lift up our hearts in thanksgiving for their sacrifice. Fight well fought, life well spent, and work well done. Let us humbly pray that we may be given grace, strength, and wisdom to enable us to perform our duty in the pathway of Biafra quest and of life's service. May the darkness of their laws not obscure the light of our peace. They we are in love with the land of Biafra and we are in love with life. For the agony, the tears, the mothers and fathers and children who were massacred. We remember Lance Corporal David Ishikuma, Physical trainer, Fidelis Onyekwe. Physical trainer, Mba Iroha. Sergeant Celestine Okafo. Lance Corporal Williams Olani. Physical trainer, Innocent. Lance Corporal Josiah Onyejiaka. Warrant Officer One, Joseph Mba. Lance Corporal Matthew. Nju, Nju Mike. Staff Sergeant Joseph Ibekwe. Using a lighted candle, raised it up facing the east. We say, may their courage be our inspiration and strength. He say, He say, He say. Uh, sixth reading, Reverend Father Maslenus, okay, Mordo. Reverend Father Maslenus, please unmute yourself. By the light of divine countenance, we shall then pass without fear in the face of adversaries through the valley of the shadow and at last shall receive the reward of true virtue, of truth and honesty, and acquire the possession of Biafra land and of an immortal inheritance. For death cannot keep us from the face of Chukwokika Biyama, whose strong grip will free us from Nigerian bondage and lift us out of shadows into the light that cannot die. In the numberless towns and villages in Nigeria and the rest of Africa and elsewhere in Europe and Asia, where we have lived in too many of them, we have endured cruel suffering and died in the hands of our fellow human beings just because of who we are. We remember 
Staff Sergeant Afoboro, Staff Sergeant Peter Bassi, Sergeant Robert Bassi, Sergeant Michael Uche, Sergeant Boniface Njemanze, Corporal Timothy Isieni, Corporal Sunday Amoli, Corporal Anthony Amoli, Corporal Paul Udaku, Corporal Festus Mwadika. Using a lighted candle, raising, raising it up facing the east, we say. Some we have forgotten, others we see it in the memory, a wound that does not heal. May their courage be our inspiration and strength. He say. He say. Mwada Clara Oninechi. The seventh reading. Mwada Clara Oninechi. Mwada Clara Oninechi. Please unmute oh, yourself. Oh, hey, Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra. Generation of victims and merits. Sorry, excuse me. If there is any gadget around you, off it, please, because it is echoing. Generation of victims. No, you have to. Generation of victims and merits. Still, their blood cry out from the earth. What can we say? What can we do? How do we bear the unbearable or accept what life have for our people? We know that all that was born must die. But how do we compare the slow passage of time with the callous slaughter and the starvation of the millions of innocents cut off before their time? They lived with faith and hope, not all, but most. And sure, most die with faith in God, Chuku Abiyama, in life in the goodness that even flame cannot destroy. May we find a way to increase the strength of that faith, that trust, that show, so that life and souls endure beyond the body, beyond the those bodies dealt. We remember Corporal Williams Abata, Copring Okori Wagu, Copring Wilfrey Azubike, Copring Reginald Green, Copring Joseph Adaka, Copring Slykus Silas Uzomba, Morris Copring Morris Ibeque, Cop. Capri Joseph Ibe, Capri Columbus Nwa Oha, John Eke Joba. We use light candle, raise it up facing the east. We say, may their courage be our inspiration and strength. He say. Yes, sir. Fair. The eighth reading, my very self, Mazi Obichuku Kamado Ogro, Almanti and the most merciful Chukoki Kadiyama, in whom we live in 
move and have our bring, and before whom all men must hereafter render an account of the need done in the body. We do not a nastily then beseech thee to impress upon our mind the solemnities and infamy of this day. May we ever remember that in the mildest of life, we are in death. And so, life and act our separate parts that we may have no cause for sorrow, for fear, when the hour of departure is at hand. And on this, we commit our being in pursuit of Biafra nation that the souls of those who have died may find rest in your presence. In Chuko Kikabiyama's name, Isa, Isa, Isa. Fellow Biafrans, we have given them their respect and I believe they have accepted our prayers. And we are waiting the day of referendum or no distant time. If they fail, we force them to do that. As one of our brothers said some time ago, if the zoo refuse to give us referendum dates, Biafra will come from abroad and we must do that. So I welcome every one of us here who participates in this wonderful day, the day we remember our fallen heroes. I say, Mr. Kukabam, I bless every one of us. As we are going, we are expecting our European rep to come in. But when he come, I will let the floor to know. He will address the house. At this juncture, I will uh, allow some people to say something concerning today's celebration of our fallen heroes. As I can see, our sister Patricia Omumere to come up and uh, tell us something. Sister Patricia, unmute yourself. Oh, hell Biafra. Oh, hell Biafra. Oh, hell Biafra. They were no more chinek. They were mazi for this opportunity. No. Yes, today is a very important day, even though it's a sorrowful day. But as the Bible always said it, we don't sorrow like people who don't have hope. Our sorrow is with people who has hope and a better hope. And our sorrow this day is that which has hope, which is pregnant with hope, expectation that is to be fulfilled. No man, no, no demon, no angel can cancel it. That confidence is down rooted in us. And I believe that the pathway to liberty or to nationhood is in identifying ourselves, in identity. 
and that our leader, His Excellency, Ohamadike Onyenaniyanebuogwe, he has made that already done. That foundation has been laid. And when a foundation is laid very well, that house stands tall against every storm. That mass, it took time to do it because God was with him as he was with the past warriors. So Mazi has given us that identity that we today, before we didn't know that we will remember our heroes. None of these leaders, so-called leaders, has been able to do it. But he came telling us to begin from the grassroots and put things right, and we obeyed. So today, my joy is that just like National has also hinted on it, that today might be the last day that we will celebrate a, a, a 30th hero in a foreign land, in a strange land. It's a word of faith and we walk by faith. We, we just grasp it. I in particular, I do because I believe. You know, there's a place in the Bible that says, see how he loves them. That was referring to the first man God, Christ, who laid his life to redeem humanity. And that same path Mazen has taken. See he, how he loves his people. I remember in one of his, um, in one of his uh, broadcasts, when he said, after saying that these people will come and kill us, what we're going to suffer in the hands of the Fulanese, he said, hell, my people are in real trouble. That was an agonic utterance that a prophet saw. But because his bowel is filled with love, you can see how he loves his people. You can see how he stands out to make sure that me and you, we can walk out today and proud, proudly say, I'm a Biafran, before we don't used to say that. So I owe so much to our leader who opened our eyes, who gave us back our uh, humanity identity, who made us to be bold today to know that our future is not destroyed. So I am very much happy about that. There is no love than this, than a man who lay his life for his friends or for his brethren. Mazi took the part of God because God has been the first man, the first liberator, emancipator for humanity. Mazi took that part and that part is a successful part. So today I thank God that we are seeing Biafra and God has, been with us all this while. Thank you. Let us continue being unified, working in faith, working in truth and in sincerity, doing that which we are asked to do together in unity. We'll finish the remaining few steps to getting. May God bless all of us. In no. Tupo Kikama's yes, name I pray. Amen. Yes. Yes. Thank yes. you. Yes. 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 Wonderful speech. Um, I want to everybody please short the his or her speech because a lot of people want to speak and we are going to give floor until our European rep will come in. Um, Kensley Obona, unmute yourself and two minutes please and say something. Two minutes please. Kensley Obona, unmute yourself. All El Biafra. Put please, your, yeah. please maintain your background, please. Maintain your background. I am, I am yeah. in the church. I am in the church. So when I was trying to connect, I'm not hearing. That was when I raised my hand that I'm not hearing. But later, I got it right. Okay. Uh, so, so that was why the noise is there. Okay. Thank you. God bless you. Right. First, the solo account. Unmute yourself. Mazi, first to Sulu, okay, unmute yourself. Yeah, I have done so. Okay. Mm. Oh, hey. Yeah, from. Yeah, from. Oh, hey. 
Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra. E wo mi na wande mjera abire go ni eja jore ra e wo mi na wande mjera wana puta no re wa ni wana puta no re wa ni e be kolula yo no de olila ya yi de na ugwa chineke Oli la ya ye de na uwa nya u miri zube zu cha awu gawa ikukuku be ku cha awu gawa bia fraga digi de weru we miri yebi ere na bia fra ya fra miri ikwere na bia fra ere mo fa kage no ere na bia fra bia fara wo meni ikwere na bia fra welere mo fa kage no my fellow comrades, today we remember our fallen heroes and heroines. We are proud of them. That is why we are here today, to honor them. It is pain in our heart that we lost them, but we have something to write a home about. Being an IPOB member is a glorious something to you, with, to live, to appreciate in life. I thank you for Kabiyama for making the great heroes and heroines of Biafra land to be resolute up to this moment. We thank everybody that is present today to honor the heroes because we are Biafrans. We will not slip aside and see our brothers and sisters massacred by the Aousa Fulanese. The people that died and raised the flag of Biafra before us died because of, because of the love we have for this fatherland. And that is the love that is still doing in us today. Atachuku Abiyama for giving us somebody like His Excellency, Mazi Namdi Okukano, the only man that stands and have the feelings, the heart, that my people are bleeding. We are here to support him with all our blood, with all our heart. We are not going back until Biafra is restored. Sir. I want to thank some of us that take it up. It is not because that we are the richest or whatever that makes us to be here, but we are the choosing ones. Everybody will not be in this platform because it is not the same heart that we have. There are many who hold everything that it takes, but they don't have the heart, the feeling, the love. And Chukwu Abiyama does not want those kind of people to restore his own kingdom. He appointed us, the ones, the truthful ones who can say the truth, no matter what it takes. I will not take your, your too much time because there are many people who want to speak. But all I say is, we keep on fighting. We strong. We don't go back. In Biafra, we stand. Amanda, in Biafra, we stand. All hail Biafra. All hail Biafra. All hail Biafra. All hail Biafra. Uh, I goes to Obuja NBC Everestus. All hail Biafra. All hail Biafra. All hail Biafra. All hail, All hail Biafra. Biafra. Freedom. Biafra. Freedom. Freedom. Biafra. Freedom. Biafra. And they were much I thank everybody this morning, this afternoon, depend on your time zone, for coming here today. May Elohim, bless each and every one of us. I don't have much to say than to say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God, for keeping us today and for giving us the strength to pursue the struggle. Please, my fellow comrades, remember what our leader said about tomorrow. Please, 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 call your people in Biafra land, 
don't forget, call your people to stay at home, to stay indoors because of stray bullets. We know how to do it. We are killing them, but they, they don't want to talk. They don't want to tell the whole world, but we know. Please, and please again, call your people at home to stay indoors so that we can handle them, so that we can teach them the lesson of their life. I know they will kill us, but we will kill them. At last, Biafra must come. I said, Biafra must come. Yes, and, and I thank the IPOB Italy for their wonderful support in this struggle. And I pray that this is going to be the last Heroes Day we are going to do here in Italy. The next one, I pray in the name of Chukoko Kabiyama that we are going to all meet in Biafra land to celebrate the Heroes Days next year. In Chukoko Kabiyama's name, I pray. He said, He said, He said, He said, He said, They want to put you again. They want. Uh, Arise Chuku Stimiliano. Arise Chuku. Mazi Arinje Chuku, unmute yourself. Okay. Oh, happy Afra. Oh, happy Afra. Uh, with gladness and boldness, we remember our fallen heroes. And with agony in our heart, we remember them. And we promise them that their death can never be in vain because they, they fought gallantly and they died as a hero. With this, I'm encouraging each and every one of us to be formidable because as they died, they did not die to wear us down, rather they give us more encouragement to go ahead and to fight to make sure that Biafra is being ready. Mazia Rinze, we cannot hear your, vo your voice. It's like you, you muted yourself. We cannot hear you. Can you hear me now? Okay, go ahead. We can hear you loud and clear. Okay. So what I'm saying is that uh, we, we are remembering our fallen heroes with gladness that they fought gallantly and they died for this struggle. It is painful and agony in our heart, but yet they fought a good fight and they finished the course and they kept the faith. It is for us to, it's, it, it's left for us to make sure that their dead can never be in vain. As they died, maybe Nigerian soldiers and the, the enemies killing them, they thought that when they die, the other ones will run away. Rather, they give us more encouragement that our brother that died, we can, they can never die in vain. And I'm encouraging each and every one of us, everybody in this platform and every Gala soldier, every IPOP member to stand firmly and never look back in whatever we are saying today. Because the Egyptians you see today, we shall see them no more. It remains just but a while. Biafra will be restored and everybody will smile. This is my, my word and my encouragement to each and every one of us to continue the struggle with faith and gladness. All hail Biafra. All hail Biafra. All hail Biafra. Mazi Okwego Biafra. Unmute yourself. Mazi Okwego, unmute yourself. All hail Biafra. All hail Biafra. Yes, good afternoon, lovers of freedom. Good afternoon, my fellow comrades. Uh, 
I want to appreciate the Elohim, the Almighty Chukwu Kabiyama, who made it possible for, for us to witness today. We must always remember our heroes. And we, I pray also that Elohim will strengthen us till the end of this struggle. And my prayer mm -hmm. also that those saboteurs in our land, those chiefs, mm -hmm. them, any saboteur in our land shall be the victim of these flannies as they are coming. Be it a man, be it a woman. We don't care to know who you are, but the slave blood must hit them whenever they are hiding. Any mm -hmm. saboteur, including in my own village or any village in Igbo land, in Biafra land as a whole. In this 30th of May, I want to use this opportunity to encourage Biafras all over the world, anywhere you are. Believe you me, as our leader have said that we are going, we are going. We are not going to relent. We are not going to capitulate because we must go home, whether peace or in pieces. Biafra is here. Thank you all. All hail Biafra. All hail Biafra. Mazi Shedrangwa for mute yourself. Oh, hey, Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra. Good afternoon, National, and a good afternoon, my fellow comrades, IPOB Italy, the wonderful people of IPOB. I thank you, all of you, for your resoluteness from the time of, from the beginning till now and to the end. I love you, all of you, all, for your great work you have been doing in Italy. I thank you once again, and I thank our leader, Mazin Namdi, Oku Kalo, Oma Buruburu. I thank him for the great, wonderful work he's doing. The prophet of my own time, Yahweh, my Lord, there is no one like him. I give him glory because he has been doing it in the name of Chukwoku Kabiyama. And my fellow comrades, uh, what I want just want what I want to just throw throw into today the great day of heroine day. As we remember our heroes, those that die that we may live, to talk today, to breathe, to even be a human being today, to know that uh, that promised land that. Uh, all over, all over the world is, is our own land. As we remember them today. All of us that the Afra Restoration Project is pregnant with a lot of things. We should not forget. Let us work hard and make sure that we restore Biafra. That is one thing important. We must restore Biafra, whether good or bad. No matter how it be, we must restore Biafra. Whether they like it or not, we must restore Biafra. In terms of that, this Biafra restoration project is going to usher us in many things that we, we don't know, but we may know. At least we, we have our faith here as a people of Chukwuka Biama. If we don't restore Biafra, where are we going to practice our faith? Many of us go to church today. That's why they didn't come to here. But in our own land, if we didn't restore Biafra and the Fulani take our land, where are we going to practice our own faith? Are we going to remain in Europe forever? Then we're supposed to restore Biafra as quick as possible. We are the Reverend Sisters who practice their faith. We are the Reverend Fathers who practice their faith. We are the pastors who practice their faith without any apology to anybody. We are, we will walk day and the night, every day by day. That abundant we come here to do. That mechanic we do here, that uh, fabrical work we do here in Italy. All of us is, is there in the Biafra land looking, for, looking at us and they, we are looking at it. So therefore let us work hardly and support our leader. Anything he tell us that we should do, let us just do it according to how he said it, so that Biafra will come soon and possible. 
all of us will go back home to enjoy ourselves. What we are here doing is wasting of time. Uh, cold, uh, the coal is breaking our bone. The sun is milking us. And we have every resources and everything that will make us to be like a human being. And uh, we are lesser than human beings. But thank the great man, Mazinam Dekan, who have returned our brain, returned our life, revolve us to think like a human being, to know whom we are for the very first time, that nobody have ever done it. So what I just want to tell us is that let us support our nationals through Mazinam Dekan to make sure anything they ask us to do, let us do it. Let us do everything humanly possible to make sure that we restore Biafra so that we will go back. We will not be here and doing shorting and they're doing every local work and begging for money. Why we have money in our home. So okay. in this junction, I want to drop here and I say, Mechuko Kabiyama, continue to give you that courage, strength and the power to be an IPOB member. Evangelize more. Evangelism is the key of this project. Try to evangelize every day, every time. Tell people to listen to Radio Biafra. You forget about that. At, at, at later, they will call you and they ask you where can they join IPOB meeting. So from me, from here, I say thank you, all of you. Oh, hey, Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra. Um, we can uh, recognize the presence of our European rep, Mazi Oguchuku Abanyamu, is here with us. Uh, please, uh, before we go to other people that raise their hands, we are going to allow our European rock to address the house because they are, as, as we can know, as we are seeing the background, they are right away on the uh, parliament in Switzerland. So we, we give them that audience to address the house so that he, he will continue because they are also doing their marvelous work over there because they the parliament there, they think that um, they will deny us this time around, but we are not going to allow them. Only they allow us to go. Mazogu Chukwa Banyamu, the house is waiting for you. You are welcome, sir. You are mute, sir. Unmute yourself. Unmute yourself, sir. OK, can you hear me now? Yes. Loud and clear, yeah. sir. Um, good afternoon, Biafrans in Italy. Good afternoon, formidable Biafrans. Good afternoon from Switzerland. Uh, we are here in the front of the United Nations in Geneva. Uh, you can see it maybe from here. We are in Geneva, United Nations. These are the flags of the nations we have in the world. And this is where we are planning and hoping that Biafra flag will be among the flags that are here flying in no distant time. Biafra flag will be among the flags of the nations here. Yes, this is Geneva, Switzerland. This also uh, is where we are today. And I'm seizing this little opportunity to address um, a formidable family we have in Italy. Uh, because uh, when we have IPOB Europe uh, without Italy, I don't think we are complete because at the moment, IPOB Italy is leading the whole world. And that's why I'm seizing this little opportunity to address you people. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for you to, for you to be so formidable as you are in this stage of the struggle. We have come a long way looking back from when we started this particular struggle about nine years ago, we know how little we started and how we will have come because Chukwu Kabiyama is presiding over the affairs of the Afro Restoration Project. And the people we have in Italy are very, very formidable indeed. Our leader, Mazin Nam Dikano, is proud of you guys, what you are doing there, both men and women in Italy. IPOB. I want to use this opportunity to uh, tell you that Biafra is coming very soon because of what you are doing, because of what other Biafran families are doing across the world. 
Biafra is going to come very soon. They are going to kill us. We are going to kill them. But in the end, Biafra will come. This is a word of our leader and is coming to pass in our own time. If you all are, you know, following the happenings in our Biafra land, you can see that Nigeria has crumbled. The construction called Sioux has crumbled, but they are holding sway because of the oil money they are still getting from our land. They have bribed every bribable people and organization to ensure that IPOB will not succeed. But the more they spend the money, the more they bribe people, the more progress we are making. Because what we are doing is more spiritual than physical. Chukwu Kabiyama has been with us. He is with us and continue will be with us. I want to assure you that you come, continue to do the good work you are doing in Italy, making sure that our people are being carried along, making sure that we are being represented in almost every city we have in Italy. And this is the secret of the success you are having over there. Almost every city is represented. And I hope it's continued to go this particular way. We are remembering our heroes today, those who paid the ultimate price for our freedom and those who are still paying it till tomorrow. We are not going to be able to stand where we are today without their ultimate sacrifices, which they have done <laughs> for believing that all men are born equal. And without freedom, nobody can call himself a human being. What makes us human being is the freedom. We have freedom of to self-determination, freedom of decision, freedom of movement, freedom of speech, and freedom of association. So therefore, I want to pray that Chukwu Kabiyama will continue in his grace and mercy to hold you people together as one family. Whatever that have united you, whatever that have kept you going so strong in these last few years, that particular thing shall continue to happen because Biafrans are very proud of Italy. Biafrans are very proud of what you are doing and the Rhetoric of State itself is proud of what you are doing. So thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to talk to you. I believe um, you guys have so much people in this meeting who are still going to speak. So let me make space for them to speak. But I, I want to pray that Chukwu Abiyama will continue to sustain us. And very soon we are going to go home to build our own nation to our own satisfaction and to the glory of Chukwu Kabiyama. He said, he said, he said, they won't much in there. They won't. Thank you very much, sir. They won't. Thank you very much. Um, Evangelist Chidema come in and they say something before uh, he left. Oh, hell, Biafra. Oh, hell, Biafra. IPOB, one family. I really want to appreciate you for Kabiyama for his goodness to us. I want to appreciate him for Awonyendu, Mazen Nam Dekano. I appreciate you for Kabiyama for all of the collaborators, those that God destined to be people that will sustain him in counseling, in directing, in obeying in this time. I want to appreciate you for Kabiyama for each and every one of us, IPOB Family Italy. In a particular way, I want to appreciate the IPOB Italy women for what they are doing in this season in kind and in prayers. Really, thank you for Kabiyama, the God that answers prayer. I know that he has asking to the women and all others praying all over the world. The word of God says that in every situation, we should give thanks. No matter um, at the commemoration of our, of our fallen heroes, but I want to give Chukwu Ike thanks for the privilege that we have. And I want to do it for the salvation he has brought to Biafra. I want to do it 
from his word in Isaiah 12. And in this particular day, 30th May 2021, we are saying, IPOB family, their friends all over the world are saying, Oh Lord, Chukwokike, we praise thee. Though he was angry with us, your anger has been turned away and you comforted us. Behold, Chukwokike, you are our salvation. We will trust and not be afraid. For you, Lord Jehovah, is our strength and our song. You have become our salvation. Therefore, with joy shall we draw water out of the wells of salvation. And in this day, and in the days to come, we shall say, dear friends shall say, praise the Lord, call upon his name, declare his doings, his mighty doings among the people. Make mention that his name is exalted. Oh, sing unto the Lord, dear friends, for he has done excellent things. This is known in all the earth. Cry out and shout, thou inhabitants of Biafra, of Zion, for great is the Holy One of Israel in the midst of us. I really know that he is great in our midst. And I know that he will protect as he has already delivered. There are angels that have been sent out because the word of God says that angels are created for our own ministration. I know that those that has understood that teaching, those that has the revelational knowledge of faith, has already given order to their angels, to the angels of Biafra land to be in guard. And they are working for us. They will be working in form of the ESN. They will be working in form of whosoever that will render him or herself available for this cause. I really thank you for Kabiyama, for each and every one of us. I am a hardcore. When I mean hardcore, I'm a minister. But today I told them Biafra comes first. And I thank God for this privilege. This privilege he has given to me to be part of this wonderful um, work. All hell Biafra. Shalom to everyone. Shalom, shalom, shalom. shalom. Thank you very much. Um, we go to Martin Okbara. Mazi Martin Okbara, unmute yourself. Mazi Martin Okwara, unmute yourself. Martin Okwara. National, I think we'll go to the next person. Okay. Um, Keke Ugo Oda, Stimliano. Keke Ugo, unmute yourself, please. Mazi Keke, unmute yourself, please. As we are waiting for him, uh, Nelson Akuma. Nelson Akuma, unmute yourself. Nelson Akuma. Nelson Akuma. As we are waiting for them, we have somebody here. Oku Ke Omelu. Oku Ke Omelu. Galazi A2. Omut yourself and talk to us. A national, I think uh, KK Ugo is back on seat now. KK Ugo, we yeah. are waiting for you. Omut yourself and speak. Omut yourself, you are speaking, we are not hearing you, Mazi KK. Omut yourself over there from your own device. Okay, go ahead. I'll help you after. I'll help you after. Um, good afternoon, my fellow comrades. I want to use this opportunity to thank all the home coordinators in Italy because without them, 
uh, Mas Yabani today will not um, say that Italy is doing well or Onyendo will not say Italy is doing well. I want to also thank all the whole different fathers that is here with us because they are trying as well to help us to go forward. And um, I want to advise everybody, this is not the time of gossip. This is the time now because we have a little time to go. This time of focus. I want everybody to focus to do the next for before Biafra will come so that nobody will say, had I know. What we are doing is for everybody, not for national coordinator or Roma coordinator or any other coordinator. What we are doing is for everybody. So that when Biafra comes, all of us will gather together and rejoice. So that we can say, no, we leave this person over and uh, maybe this person is a saboteur. This person did not... Uh, when we are telling him he did not hear, he said, no, no, which you, which you So please, I want to advise everybody to wake up now. These few days, few months we have for Biafra to be restored. To everybody to wake up and sit back and so that we can give glory to God together. That is my own contribution today. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. May Chukwo Kwabiyama guide us. In Chukwo Kwabiyama's name, I pray. He said, he said, he said. Um, I can see. I can see now that. Uh, who is that? This is uh, Nelson Firenze, coordinator. Can I go? Go ahead, but we call you before. We... Can I go? go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I think uh, we can uh, do it uh, fast, fast. Maybe two, two minutes because I can see that uh, our leader is live on air. Uh, Emergency brokers. <clears throat> okay. Good we afternoon, my fellow Biafras. Then we close. Go okay. ahead. Good afternoon, my fellow Biafras. Good afternoon, my fellow Biafras, lovers of freedom. I want to use this opportunity to thank the Italy. Today, it's a solo day, which they are still it to continue fighting until the Jafra is restored. My advice to IPOB Italy, you can see how our European recommend Italy that we should not use that opportunity to slow down our deals. All the necessary things they ask us to do, we have to be able to do it. We under command and control until Biafra is restored. It is a, a good opportunity for we to be IPOB. And we should not be scared of what is happening in the zoo. It's better to die as a gallant soldier than to die as a coward. Let us not be afraid of the zoologic republic. We keep on pushing. And in, in no due time, Biafra must be restored. Thank you and God bless each and every one of you. Go ahead, Biafra. Go ahead, Biafra. As I said, um, we have a lot of uh, hand raising here, and uh, we are going to entertain them by one one minute, please. One one minute. One one minute. Uh, one two three four five. We have here. Then after that. And we will go to our Reverend Father Anthony Onyeka Chuku to pray uh, for us for closing remark. But let me go to Azubike Ngodom. Azubike Modum, if you are there, unmute yourself. One minute is gone. Mwaka Stanley, Ozama. One minute, please. Mwaka Ozama Stanley. 
Mwaka Stanley Azuama, sorry, Azuama. Mwaka Stanley, you mute yourself. Oh, help me out. Oh, help me out. Background is not okay. We we will remove you, please. Go ahead. Ten minutes. Uh, one minute is running oh, out. Help me out. One minute is running out. Oh, help me out. No, we can't listen. Can't. We People have had a. Can you hear me? Is there a question? Oh, hey, Biafra. That's all very simple. Oh, hey, Biafra. That's all very simple. My friend, start talking, man. Start talking. Oh, hey, Biafra, we are hearing you. Please, take your time. Move your mic, Shedra. Our PR yeah. put our leaders uh, a live uh, emergency brokers. Put it. Let us follow him. Emergency brokers. Hello, now I can hear. I can hear now, but before I cannot hear. Now I can hear. Our leader is on air, my brother. We have to slow down for us. Slow down for us. The, the brokers of our leader is not going to last. Let us follow him and see what he can say. Please. Do you me a telephone? Mutan, Mutan, are you removed, please? Mutan, you are mine. The land is better our enemies are planning a war. Our enemies are trying to do all the time because this very family, this IPOB is. It's a peaceful movement, and we shall remain peaceful. The only time that there may be a semblance of fight in us is when we confront terrorists in our bushes and in our forests. For that, we owe nobody any apologies. What we are saying to everybody today is, do not come outside tomorrow if you value yourself and your life. Do not come out tomorrow. The land is very, very hot. Our enemies are planning and plotting. Our enemies are trying to do all they can to instigate a wholesale massacre of our people. This very idea that I live by the grace of the Most High in heaven shall remain peaceful. Eastern Security Network shall remain in the bushes to safeguard our land, our forest, our bushes against the conquistado tendencies of the Janja with Flamengo. Uh, blessing, blessing. These are obvious facts for me. Yes, to remove, yes, tomorrow must be peaceful. I repeat, tomorrow must be very peaceful. And in that very peace, everybody must respect themselves. I don't care who you are. You must stay at home wherever you are tomorrow, or you have yourself to blame. We will continue to pray. For the soul of our dear departed, we shall continue with our prayers and the candlelight vigil tonight all across Biafra land. And tomorrow there's a total and complete blockage of Biafra land. 
complete lockdown. Any community that allows any vehicle to pass through it will be in trouble. No vehicles anywhere. Anybody in any car, in any lot, except an ambulance. Believe you me, you will be in one almighty trouble, I can assure you. Complete lockdown. I want the satellite of all the major countries of the world looking down upon Biafra tomorrow morning to confirm for themselves that indeed they are remembering those that fought and died for them. Ours cannot be an exception. I want to commend all the pastors and the preachers today that told their congregation to go home that there will be no church. In most places in Biafra land, there is no church service today. People went home to go and pray because remember, Remember that regardless of where you are, God will hear your prayers. They did not go to church today. I commend those pastors. I commend them immensely from the bottom of my heart. And I don't know if what I'm hearing from Obiano is correct. Of course, Anambra, Anambra is the number one in Biafra land. They always comply. We sit at home. And I'm sure Anambra will comply tomorrow. And I expect other governors to follow suit as well. Complete lockdown so that our enemies will not have any excuse to kill anybody, tagging them IPOB or Eastern Security Network tomorrow. If you come out, they will kill you. They will say you're IPOB. They will say you're Eastern Security Network. They will look for one allegation or the other to heap upon you. Then you're dead. And there'll be nobody there to vouch for you. If your brain is working properly, stay at home tomorrow. Complete and utter lockdown. I know some people are very foolish. Around 12 o'clock, they want to come out and see if they can open their shop. If you open that very shop, that shop will burn you inside it. I know because especially you know why people are very stupid. That's where I come from. Very, very hopeless people. Oh my God, Africa, they look very useless. Tomorrow you will try and you will see. I don't want any violence, but you must respect the dead. You must respect them. And tomorrow we shall. Thank you very much for listening. And I will be back again tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. I will be live on air. We are going to be praying because from tomorrow I am going to pray Psalm number one, the beginning of our 150 days of prayers. Every blessed day we are going to read one psalm and we are going to pray it. Every blessed day for 150 days. And you see what will happen. We are now in the middle of a war. And remember that the family will do everything possible to promote, or should I say, to provoke a genocidal onslaught against our people. They will do anything. Remember during the war, they dressed people in their front army uniforms. Remember, to go and attack villages in Cross River State, in, in River State, in, in Aquaibon today that we have. So that those villagers will hate everything in Biafra. It won't surprise me if they pull off one of those games now. Nothing is beyond them. That is the reason why Katrina Lang, the UK High Commissioner to Nigeria, disappeared. So they can plan a way to incriminate IBOB, Eastern Security Network, and to start another round of genocide. We must resist them. Tomorrow will be very peaceful. Very, very peaceful, I assure you. I want there to be peace in our land that we may honor our heroes and heroines that went before us. Thank you very much. And with all the love in my heart from here, good afternoon. Okay. Are you there? Hmm. 
Martin Opera, go ahead and speak. Hi, POV. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, my national. I thank every members of this noble family for being here today. I have no more thing to say, rather that I just want to pray, let the almighty Tukwoki Gabiyama be in our mind at this last time we are, because the zoo government have deployed many strategies, money, in time of trying to enter in the midst of the IPOB members. Let every one of us remember the oath we took, because many, many things are coming from the zoo government to call Nigeria. That is just what I want to say. And also thank every members of IPOB member in Italy, all the whole members of the family. May Chuko Kikabia guide everyone. In Chuko Kikabia's name we pray. You say? You say? You say? Okay. Je... <clears throat> Azubike Modom, one minute, please. Mazi Azubike, unmute yourself. Go ahead, Biafra. Go ahead, Biafra. One minute, please. One I minute. use this opportunity to appreciate our leader, Mazi Namdikan, for his efforts and our Ebu National Coordinator in Italy, Mazid Romani Sugru, and all IPOB coordinators worldwide. May God be with you guys for the effort, for the ability you are giving to us to, to make sure that Biafra must be restored. And we believe that Biafra must be restored. I pray before this time next year, we will be in our homeland, which is Biafra. And Biafra must come, nothing will take us back. And anything other people are doing to throw us back, our enemy, they can never see us. They, more, they will be the back, will be at their front, and nothing will take us back. I, use, I plead everybody to continue working hard to make sure that Biafra comes. Thank you, my happy leader. No, thank you. Do you the ones there? Jude Mwanze, one minute. Jude Mwanze. Mazi Jude Mwanze, unmute yourself and address us. All oh, hey, hail Biafra. All oh, hail hey, Biafra. All oh, hail hey, Biafra. One minute. Oh, hey, uh, Biafra. Please, uh, my, uh, what I want to share is the is a testimony. Uh, I lost one minute, okay. I want to sing a song, please. Uh, Holy, 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 Nande Kanu is another savior. Why I sing this music? I know many people don't, may not understand why this music comes. You know, in 2015, after Nigeria election, because me, I have my own God. So after the Nigeria election, I saw a sucking, a sucking demon, a broad sucking demon on the throne of Nigeria. And uh, I was crying, crying to my God. Why, 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 why? Why, why? And you know that you know, my people did not vote for this, for this boss of Indemo. How can we suffer in this, in this Nigeria with, with, with everybody who vote for this man? And the God promised me, that's 15, that he will send somebody for us to save us from this man. And today we are witnessing it. We are witnessing this thing with our eyes today. But my question is, my people who are fighting against IPOD and Eastern Security Network, my brother, know that these people, IPOD in the Ghana is where you are alive today. And they are paying you to fight against him, against people, the man that God being to save you. And they are paying you to go and fight against them, against the Ghana. My brother, let us think twice. Let us not fight God because the, uh, we are our, uh, we are children. Of, we are, you know, you cannot stand the course if we come. All help, Biafra. All help, Biafra. 
Thank you very much. Oku ka. Oku ke omelu. Omuta self and speak. Oku ke omelu. Oku ke omelu. Unmute yourself. Yeah, go go men one. Yes. Thank you very much. Um, IPOB worldwide and IPOB Italy. I remember your, your humble servant, Mazi, a worthy warrior. Chine Dumu Mwangwe Kaga. We come on an email. I hope all of us know what we come here to restore. We, we come to restore the dignity of humankind on this planet. Hmm? And the dignity of human we want to restore. We were already doing it before the visitors, foreigners, come to, to us. And the war we are doing that time is still there. It never changed. If you know what I'm talking about, you have to know and stand firm. I come to I come in Italy in 2008. I and, and I tell Italian that I am I come from Biafra, and they give me document to stay in Italy. You understand? So we come to put to stop on what slave trade, what missionary, and what colonization did to us. They cut our head like this. So all of us must stand up, firm, to fight this cause because we must restore our motherland. Nobody, nobody, we was nobody, no nonsense, we, have, we was nobody, a nonsense apology for it. Yes. So, if you know what we come to restore, we come to restore Obodai, which is Jaffa. We come to restore our Mpala, Mpala, which is Mpala Ambo, Nimo, you know Mpagaragi. So we come to restore our Onoku, we come to restore our home. We come to restore our home now. And we come to restore our Mbuke. Then, is it no law? If you listen to our leader, the emergency broadcast he did, he asked one of our sisters that called him, where did you come from? She started talking, oh, and our leader tell her that you, are, you, are, you are never know where you're from because all those things it was con concocted during the time of slave trade, missionary, and colonization. We must remember our foreign heroes. And one person I remember the name, his name, Comrade Ike Tukuidemiri Namochie. Remembered. Yachan Koma Nalamo. Nobody will grow fungi on this planet. You understand me? Nobody. So we are moving ahead. We are going home. We are going home. And again, this, this virus going around, I don't take anything. No, I cannot take it. If you take, you know why you take. And we want our nation, our country will go and come and put airline for us to go. Because we cannot bear this nonsense. Because this last manipulation... We IPOB grab them like this, and we chew them with our teeth. Thank you very much. All help Biafra. All help Biafra. Thank you very much for your yeah, word of advice. Uh, my fellow Biafras, I think uh, we have come to conclusion but before then, I would like to salute the courage of every one of us who participate in this uh, wonderful day. I say may Chuko Kiyabema bless every one of us. I'm here to advise every one of us, be you a coordinator, be you a member, of IPOB, one thing is certain. Once you find yourself a member of IPOB, 
you must give Chukokikabiyama thanks on a daily basis because you don't know the reason why you find yourself in IPOB. And uh, Chukokikabiyama, who made it possible for you to be in IPOB, there is a job he sent you to go to do. Do not come to IPOB and gossip. Do not come to IPOB and envy. Do not come to IPOB and play smartness because you are playing with the fire. I mean, fire will consume you. If not for any other thing, our fallen heroes and heroines, I always remind ourselves, regardless of the country you are in, in the Western world, go to the history of the country your side, you will understand that they fought to the last man standing for that country to exist. No country in Europe did not fight for their country to exist. Go and check wherever you are. Here in Italy, where we are, they fought to the last man standing. To the extent, if you go to the history of this country, they lose their men. They imported, they are even imported men for their women to be pregnant. Why? Because they don't want Italy to answer Sweden or answer Germany. And that is exactly what we are doing today. Biafra must come under our watch. There is nothing any man can do about it. Without Biafra, we are gone. And we must do everything humanly possible to make sure that Biafra is restored under our watch because our children is not going to suffer what we are suffering today. Our last broadcast of Onyendu before this emergency broadcast now, he said Biafra restoration, even if one person remain, that person must answer Biafra. And it is our job, me and you, to make it come to reality. Go out there and tell our people who are still standing on the fence, who are still gossiping around, who are still thinking that uh, if Biafra comes, you cannot block him not to come to his fatherland or her fatherland. We will do so. We are not a fool. Our leader is suffering day in, day out for you to live, and you think you can come and uh, play smart. It can happen, it can never happen. So if you know anybody, your relation, your friend, or whatever, as long as you are a Biafra, do not take us on granted because IPOB have come to stay. Biafra have come to stay. So if you, if you doubt it, remain where you are. I could remember 2016 or 2015, if I'm not mistaken, our leader told us what happened to Kosovo will happen every Bia France who refused not to join what we are doing. And you think he's, he's joking. Rewind your brain back. There is nothing he said have not come to pass. Do not joke with fire. Because Biafra we are pursuing is not like zoological republic. Biafra is going to be the light of not just Africa, the light of black race on this planet Earth. If war doubt us, let us let them give us Biafra. Within 10 years, Italy we are in today 
will come and look for job in our place. We have everything it takes to live. But because of the evil British, they came early and conquered our forefathers and handed us over to uncircumcised men called Flani. And today we have come. Either they leave our land, allow us to live, or we kill them. Because as Oyendu used to remind us, they have never fought and win. Mind you, 6770, we fought with the bare hands. Today, imagine what will happen if it happens again. We are all over the world. We are all over the world. And any part of the country in this particular world we are in, comes to fight Biafra, either you are fighting for your in-law, or you are fighting for your son, or you are fighting for your uh, brother, we are all over. If you go to Asia, we are there. If you come to Europe, we are there. If you go to Africa, we are there. So do not take Biafra as granted. We are, if Pia is not taking time to come, in time to come, once we are restored, in future, we are going to be a part of world power. Believe it or not, it's a, it's a promise and it's a revolution. Biafra is going to be part of world power. That is why they have, British knows this. If you ask, they know this, they know. That is why they are clamoring, they don't, they don't, they don't need, uh, second Japan in Africa, and it must surely happen, and the British is going to suffer. Once Biafra is restored, we give British five years, they will no longer the same, never, because they have committed unbearable atrocity. So my fellow Biafrans, consistency is the key. Do not shake, do not fear. They can go in around with their armored car. But my question is this, why are they scared coming out in the night and confront our men? Because there's no way you can go to somebody's compound and feel you can do nonsense and get away with it. If you believe that they are okay, they are, they, are, they are formidable to fight. Let them come in the night and comfort our men. Because they have become a, a market woman, woman. After men fought, then they come around, start harassing uh, our innocent people, going their normal businesses. But this time around, they can't get away with it. We have come to stay. We have come to stay. So fellow Biafrans, whatever you have, whatever capacity you can apply in this struggle, please try and do that. We need every one of us this particular point in time. We need our efforts. We need our money. We need our, if you have brain to write, whatever you feel you will do to be afraid to come, please apply it. Stop sabotaging. Stop sabotaging because no middle ground for sabotage in our land. All of them will go down. It doesn't matter, regardless of whom you are, you will go down. Because we are saying it years, now, people think that it is their right to behave anyhow. It won't happen because people have laid their blood for you to live and you can never, never come and mess around with us. Thank God our leader said all our borders will be blocked. 
DNA. I can now buy a canguaya. Ndibo. I can now go to If your DNA tested Fulani, we will put you where you belong. So be warned if you are saboteur, if you are sabotage what we are doing, it's better for you to stand on face and on defense and close your mouth than to stand on defense at the same time you are sabotaging what we are doing. God will punish you and you will go to hell before your eyes. I say you will go to hell fire before your eyes. So I commend IPOB Italy for your wonderful work. The formidable ones. Because they are a coward everywhere. Italy is doing well, but we still have coward in, in our midst. We still have coward in our midst. And the, the vulture are congregating, our enemies are gathering, and we begin to identify them. Do not take us for granted. Men are angry. Men are angry. So if you know where you belong, please. One thing is certain, one thing you should bear in your mind is that the reason why you, you are in IPOB is to restore Biafra, not to restore Mazok not to restore Mazaganeku, not to restore any one of us here. No, the reason why you are, the freedom is all about. And I commend the formidable ones who have put all they can to make sure that IPOB worldwide is moving and IPOB in Italy as well. You have heard it from the horse's mouth, not me. The glory goes to every one of us who are putting his or her effort to make sure that Italy become number one today. Not for coward, not for gossipers, not for envy, envy and jealousies. Do not allow yourself to be deceived from the coward. Be consistent, be focused. If you're in IPOB to sabotage what we are doing, you are dealing with the spirit. And you must be dictator one way or the other. You can't run away from it. And I hate Jeffrey Marker. Once you start stretching your neck like giraffe. We will see you. So my fellow Biafrans, keep on keeping on. Keep on your good work. Chuko Kiabiyama will see us through. On that juncture, I will go to our Reverend Father, Anthony Onyeka Chuku to lead us in closing prayer. Father, the floor is yours. Thank you very much. Reverend Father Kachuku. Reverend Father Kachuku, please unmute yourself. Okay, thank you. Closing prayer. Okay. Thank you, everyone, and thank you, our dear coordinator, and everyone that has spoken. And thank you for a memorable. Uh, the African Heroes and Heroines Day. Let us pray. It is our intention in this prayer, Almighty God, to thank you, first of all, for everything that you have done for us, for the life that you have given us, for the great gifts you have given to all our people, collectively and individually. We thank you for our surgeon in very many places in this world, places where other people may not be able to survive that we enter it like nothing is happening, that like it is so easy. It is by your grace, it is by your light. 
because we are your children, the children of light. And we thank you for all the leaders that you have given us in a very big way, in a very mess, many special way. Nam de Kano, Mazen Nam de Kano, whom the world has already begun to add an appellation to his name, his excellency. One becomes excellent only by keeping your word, only by listening to you, almighty father. And therefore we hand him over in your hands and pray that you protect him, Lord, as your special son, as a leader of the light of the world, your kingdom on this earth, the Biafran people. He did not choose himself, you chose him. May he never derail from your word, almighty father, and therefore never ever stop protecting him and his family. For all the sacrifices you have made, father, repay him a sevenfold time. We ask you to bless the, the DOS and all the leaders who put their heads together, always sacrificing their time with their families in their jobs to think and to plan and to execute. In their various capacities, capacities and levels, be with them all, protect them, both those in diaspora and those at home, especially those at home, Father who are in front, in the battlefront, combating the evil, blood-sucking demons in human forms. People who claim to pray to you, but we know, we know they are praying to demons and the devil himself. Both those in our homes, those born, share the same bond and blood with us, and those who are actually the enemies outside. Father, we leave them all in your hands. Rebuke them severally, O oh Lord, and live, rebuke them severely. We do not ask for mercy for them. We only ask that they repent. But if they do not repent, rebuke them severely and strictly. As you are father of mercy, you are also father of justice. Many people lost their faith in you because of Biafra. How many more will lose and stop trusting in you before you let Biafra come. Our land has become a river of blood and tears. How many more blood will be shed before you give us Biafra? We are not raising our voices. You know the heart of a son. We are all children. It is the grief in our heart that we are expressing to you for you are the father of liberty, the father of freedom. You will not want otherwise that we pretend that all is well with us when we are praying to you. We pray like it is in our hearts. And for that, you who love the truth, you love us. And we are asking you, Father, just for this one thing. We did bad. We failed you. We sold our blood brothers and sisters. We turned our back to you. And then you left us. You took away your glory from our land. And we have suffered. And we have suffered. And we have suffered. We are only asking you now your mercy. Restore us. Restore us, almighty Father. Restore Biafra and Biafra, the light of Africa, the light of the world. Like you restored Israel, restore Biafra once more. And you will to restore Biafra through us. Let there be no one among us with chicken hearts. Let there be no one among us who do not have courage. Let there be no saboteurs anymore among us. Father, into your hands we commend our freedom. Just give us freedom. That we may go back to our land to worship you and to build a befitting worship place for you. To gather together as brothers and sisters to help you, our creator and Lord. May all the glory be yours, both now and forever. We say, we say. Yes, we say, we say. Thank you very much. Uh, we remind uh, ourselves once more Please, as we are going, we are not going out of IPOB. <laughs> Please go there and do more. You know, we have become Oliver Twist who asks for more. Until Biafra is restored, we will not rest. We must continue pushing. At the same time, please, Remember our leader in prayer always, our Supreme Leader Mazenam de Kano Hamadike, 
Always remember him in your prayer. Remember our Onongo men, and we don't know them, but they are doing marvelously well. Remember our ESL. We must gain our land. Biafra must be restored under our watch. From me, from here, I say goodbye. Thank you, all of you.